and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 66.2 kilograms and trains under Simon Carson out of Absolute MMA with a professional record of four wins for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Sam King Kakambo. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 65.8 kilograms and trains under Joe Lopez at a freestyle fighting gym with an undefeated professional record of one win for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Colby Golden Boy Thickness. Sporting the red with white trim. It's showtime here at Eternal 70. Nakia Melody in charge of this bout. Round one. Both guys here just trying to measure each other up. Just feeling each other out. It's a good sign of two high level strikers here. Indeed, it is Carl Nurk. Once again, five fans. This matchup proudly brought to you by our wagering partners at Nets. see the respect on both sides. Both guys are trying to faint and find their way in. They've felt each other's power before, you know, going to full three rounds as amateurs. And obviously, as I said, the stakes are much higher for them both here tonight. Going to capitalize on some of the holes that they seen in each other in that uh, previous fight. Both guys are fighting really well on the outside. It's, Sam's got some great front kicks up the middle there. Absolutely indeed, and you can see the high level of experience. Both guys taking their time. No one's rushing into anything. Quite the opposite of what we saw from uh, Lachlan Stipp previously. <laughs> Cambo doing a good job there, just keeping that distance with that deep kick. Nice right hand lands and the right leg kick as well. Oh, oh my God. just that goes the golden boy. Front kick to the face. Lands for Kakembo. And the best of many front kicks just there, you know, you, that must have been something they were studying in the tape because that one landed flat. And there was just a big knees to the body, but Kobe lands back himself. He is so tough, he is not gonna go down without a fight. He's gonna find his feet underneath him, does Kobe thickness. Still world of trouble here. Still looks rocked. Col uh, Sam is picking his shots. Colby can still punch on though, Casey. I'll tell you what, that overhand right, it only takes one shot. When you've got the champ in your corner, you're not going to go down without a fight. You know, I'm sure that he's used to adversity in the gym. I know that that's not going to be all it takes after 22 months. He's looking to, to get in there and get a win himself. Most definitely. He's going to have to be taken out in order to give up in this fight here. Oh, well, Kakembo is just ruthless. His striking is on point tonight. You can see the venom in those elbows and those strikes. Colby given no choice but to tie up now. Kakembo doing everything right, Carl. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he has to be careful when he ties up. Oh, there we go. go. You see it. This fight has me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Sam in this clinch is so dangerous. He is just fighting that target over and over again. Those knees are coming up so quick. How tough is Colby Thickness? You see, it's a, a sign of experience here too. He's not overexerting himself here. He's still trying to look for that shot. He's had him hurt plenty of times, but he's still being patient. He's not forcing the finish. He's letting the finish come to him. He's got to watch those knees. You can hear the Vulcan in his corner. Watch the knees. Kakembo is totally aggressive here early on in round number one. He is taking no prisoners, is, is, Kem is, is Kakembo. Goodness gracious me. It's an exciting fight, Tanera. Oh, it is, Casey. I know exactly how you feel now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing it back up. Appreciate That's right. it. We have fun here. And so are these guys. Huge overhand oh, right lands for Colby. Oh, he's got that. He's got the takedown. Oh, no. Sam just not. Sam defending it well. 
So much so, he hasn't, not, not giving up his back easy here. He's putting up a fight still. Great scramble there from Sam. Just a super high level scramble from both guys, you know. Sam's coming out absolute MMA. It's a jiu-jitsu super camp of sorts. You've got massive names of in the um, grappling world coming out of that camp. Lachlan Giles, Livia Giles. You've got Craig Jones. I'm sure that he takes a lot of confidence being in the room with them every day. And Colby with Alex, the same. Colby has to be careful not to try and clinch up. Every time he clinches up with Sam, Sam lands those vicious knees. It's not a good position for him to be in. I can't believe it, but we're going to a second round after those massive knees from Sam Campbell. Florian and many others. Back to the action here in round two. And like you said, Casey, I'm actually very surprised that we're seeing a round two considering the action on display early in round number one. Even after a rough first round for Colby, he's still the one coming out firing, not deterred at all from it, he's looking for a takedown. He's definitely shaking off all them cobwebs. He looks all, he's back to it. He looks sharp. He looks like he's back on point again. You see him press the action now. I'm not sure he wants to clinch up again with Sam, but I'm sure he's got a game plan. Well, he's as tough as they come. Is Colby Thickness. We make mention he fights out of freestyle fight gym down in New South Wales with the likes of Alex Volkanovski, Justin Lockjaw, Fun Heerden, Jarrett, Wilbraham getting his rounds down there as well, and down goes Kikembo for the first time in this fight, but he bounces straight back up. Kobe is just trying anything he can to get this fight to the ground at the moment. He did not like how that striking was going. Oh, and a massive takedown from here. Sam has his leg wrapped up, but I think, yeah, he's going to get out of that one. He's got the fight, oh, and he's back up again. Sam looks incredible with his takedown defense tonight. As soon as his butt hits the mat, the floor is lava. He is back up <laughs> as soon as he can. <laughs> yeah, both guys scrambling well here tonight. Like Casey touched on, Sam does not want to, it's not that he doesn't want to be on the ground, he's having so much success on the feet and he's getting up to his feet every time. And Colby just doing everything he can to get this fight back to the ground where he probably feels more co comfortable in this fight. You've got to give credit to Sinicardi. Kikambo springing straight back to his feet. And now we make a lot of noise about Alex Volkanovski being in the corner of Colby Thickness, but Kikambo, one of his main training partners, one of the best featherweights we've seen in Jack Jenkins, the eternal featherweight champion. Looking forward to seeing him in action sooner than later on the Dana White Contender Series. Once again, you can catch all that action on UFC Fight Pass as it continues to go down here. An eternal 17 fitness landing and overhand right for good measure. Oh, that front kick again, it's almost too easy for Kikemba. He's so long and so quick with it. He's hitting Colby before Colby can recognize that it's coming up. But Colby gets double underhooks again. He gets the back. We'll see if he can get him back down to the ground and hopefully hold him there for his sake for a little bit longer this time. Yeah, Colby's having success because he's able to push Sam back against the cage and slow down Sam's movement. If Sam was out in the open, he'd be able to move side to side and have more angles, but Colby doing an awesome job of that pressure right now as he climbs up to take his back. Yeah, I really like how he's just trying anything he can. He can't drag him down, so he's trying to just jump the back Charles Oliveira style and <laughs> get something happening there. He's he's doing everything he can to, to get some offense off of, of his own in this fight. Yeah, that's uh, arguably winning this round as well. Yeah, this is a better round for Colby. Whatever Joe Lopez and the Volk said in between rounds one and two, it looks like it's worked because he has been nothing but non-stop. He's pressing the action the whole time. You'd have to think landing some seriously significant strikes along, alongside that. As Kikembo goes down for the third time and again springing back to his feet. Straight back to his feet. There's a nice single leg dump there by Colby. I think it comes down to Colby just cutting off the cage each time for Sam, pushing him against the fence and able to drag him to the ground. Colby's definitely looking better in this round. You've got to think that some of that first round could have been ring rust being out for 22 months. You know, it's a long time. It is like riding a bike, but you do get pre-fight nerves, and the longer you're out, the more prominent those nerves are. And obviously, you know, he's managed to shake them off, survive a 
a pretty tough first round for him and having a much better second round here. I don't know if he shook him off or whether uh, Sam kicked him clean yeah. out. <laughs> the seem to be definitely oh, going. He, 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 he gets it! He gets it! This is close! Kakembo's got to fight the hands. He's doing so. Doing a great job of hand fighting right now, but that choke's still on. It's still tight. He well, can't finish this with a one arm choke. He is under the neck here. He's got both hooks and... He can't grab the gloves there. It's pound to pound for thickness. The golden boy looking to submit Semikari Kakembo, but he's not giving an inch here. He's got 10 seconds left. He's Kakembo fine. will survive. My goodness. What a fight. Absolutely amazing fight from both guys. It is the striker. And after a super high-paced first two rounds, both men still look so fresh, bouncing on their feet, trying to get their game plan off both sides. Consummate professionals, both these gentlemen. Carl Nook. Yeah, Colby's doing an awesome job. He's not standing in front of Sam too much. He's always going side to side. He's using a lot of lateral movement. The second he stays still in front of Sam, that's when Sam's getting off. So Colby's made them adjust adjustments already. And the thing we've seen from Kikembo, <laughs> He can pull anything out of anywhere at any time. If you remember, a flying knee almost finished James Sargerson, who was making his debut. Sargerson getting the better off Kakembo throughout that fight, but it was a knee out of nowhere. Can he do the same against the Golden Boy? See, Kobe wraps the legs again. He's got him up. He's got him down. Will they be able to keep him here this time? He's... <laughs> That's the question, Casey. You see Colby wrapping the legs there. I like to call that the Dagestani mermaid. It's <laughs> so tough. If he can grab that, it's so tough to get up. But Sam gets out again. Sam is looking really technical in this fight. Colby oh, can just jumping on that back. Well, he goes back to the well. Sam was somewhat prepared for that one. But still, this is draining on Sam. He's got not only his weight to carry, but he's exhausted, but he's also got Colby's as well. Sam's able to shake him off there. They're so slippery now in round three. Sam has to be careful of those up kicks as well. See him just trying to fight to get past those legs. Colby's staying really active. With those legs on the bottom, doesn't want to give Sam a chance to get on the inside and land pick shots. Yeah, Colby not let not him get in there and put the weight down on him. As Colby tries to get back to his feet. And Sam taking uh, page out of Colby's book here. Indeed he is. <laughs> Just over halfway here in round number three. Nice mat return. Beautiful. Just complete 180 once again. <laughs> yes. Sam on Colby's back here. <laughs> They've switched roles in round three. I mean, both men are looking great tonight. This is a super, super high-level fight between these two. And, you know, we've seen them fight once before. This is their second time. No doubt they'll probably end up fighting for a third time, two of Australia's best uh, in the bantamweight division. Sorry, they're fighting up at featherweight, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> both are usually bantamweights. They can do it at all weight classes. The golden boy and the king set a cage for both men now. Well, I'd be definitely happy with the third fight. These guys are putting on a show tonight. Oh, massive overhand from Colby there. He's had a lot of success with that overhand right tonight as well. He's landed that a few times. That's nice leg work from Sam there as well, just landing that leg kick at well. Yeah, if Sam can land a few more of them and take away his, take away Colby's lateral movement so much, he'd be able to stand in front of him more and he'd be able to land some bigger, better shots. Down goes Sam again. And this is big, especially at this stage in the fight. 
Counting down the final minute, Sims back up to his feet. But you'd have to think momentum in favor of the golden boy. Nonetheless, the king continues to strike from a distance. Really is a super close fight. It's going to be so hard to judge. The oh. first round was all Sam Kikembo, second round all Colby Dignes, and the third round just so back and forth. Both men having some really great moments here. It'd yeah, be interesting one to score. You know, Colby has had a few takedowns, and, and both guys have had success on the ground as well. That was a beautiful shuck off by Sam. Straight back to work here on the outside with those front kicks. Well, stay tuned. Don't blink. Anything can happen in this last 10 seconds when Semikadi Kikembo is inside the cage. What can he muster here in round three? It's the golden boy and the king. They will go the distance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of insane action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this competition. 29-28 for your winner for a unanimous decision. Colby, the Golden Boy!